Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. I'm Adam Slate from iSchoolSportsNetwork.com. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Wednesday. We have made it to hump day. A lot of you wiping the uh, sleep out of your eyes this morning, a late night. If you are an Atlanta Braves fan, yeah, how about the Braves? Big win last night in Houston. World champions. There will be a parade on Thursday in Cobb County. I'll get more information about that for you. For those of you that might want to travel over and um, celebrate with the Atlanta Braves World Series champions this morning. All right, let's take a look at your weather forecast. This is for Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. From the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page. Yeah, no shower or thunderstorm activity anticipated today across East Alabama or West Georgia, though we could see uh, an increase in clouds this afternoon and maybe a scattered shower late in the day. No thunderstorm activity anticipated. Again, on Thursday, all the thunderstorms will be down in southern Texas, also in southern Florida, nothing across East Alabama or West Georgia, and will remain thunderstorm-free also on Friday. So now let's uh, go ahead and take a look at your tropics, and all we have to deal with is Wanda, and we won't be dealing with Wanda across the United States. Uh, Wanda is way up there, the northern Atlantic, moving away from the United States. 50 mile per hour sustained winds moving to the north northeast at around eight miles per hour. No issues from Wanda. All right, so now let's take a look at your daytime highs for today. We'll do 61 this afternoon in Roanoke. Ashland and Lyon will both go to 59. Widawi will hit 60. Ranburn goes to 59, 62 over in Franklin. And Auburn will top out at 65 this afternoon. Don't forget, when you go to bed on Saturday evening, you want to set those clocks back one hour. We fall back, spring forward. It is the fall of the year, so we are going to fall back Sunday. Um, well, when you go to bed Saturday night, set those clocks back. Uh, and uh, you'll be on time for church <laughs> come Sunday morning. Here's your six-day forecast. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure and click on that little bell so that when we go live for severe weather, yeah, you'll be guaranteed to get a push notification. 20% chance of rain late this afternoon. Most of you will not see a drop of rain today, but you will see the clouds slowly increase as we go throughout the day. 61 will be your high, down to 47 tonight. We'll increase that chance of rain to around 40% from about 10 p.m. through early morning Thursday. Again, this is a very weak system. It's not going to produce a lot of rain. Uh, most of you or some of you may not see a drop of rain at all. Thursday, a 20% chance of showers early in the day. Then we'll stay mostly cloudy throughout the remainder of the day. It's going to be one of those cloudy and cool raw days. Um, though I think most of the day Thursday is dry. 57 is all we'll see Thursday afternoon. Down to 43 on Thursday night. And then just in time for the weekend, we'll go back to mostly sunny skies. Maybe a few clouds left over Friday, but we will be dry on Friday. And we'll hit 59 in the afternoon as a slow warming trend begins. Down to 40 on Friday night for high school football. That full forecast is on the way. Saturday and Sunday, sunny skies. 59 on Saturday. We'll do 65 on Sunday. And by the time Monday gets here, warming up nicely, it'll be a pleasant start to your next work week. 70 will be the high with lots of sunshine on Monday. Here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar this morning. That's not rain. Those are clouds. We're looking at the satellite shot uh, overlay on top of the radar. And as you can see, there's no green out there, so there's no rain. But as you can see, we do have a few high-level clouds moving into Clay County, Randolph, uh, back over toward Coosa County and down into central Alabama. Uh, and so we'll see intervals of, of clouds and broken sunshine throughout uh, the remainder of the day. As we get into the afternoon, those clouds will start to thicken a little bit more. Now let's take a look at your Round one, Alabama High School Athletic Association playoff forecast for Friday night. Geneva will be in town to take on the Handley Tigers at right field. 
Galesville will be at Wadley. And Woodland will be on the road at Cedar Bluff. Right now, we're backing off of those 30s. We're going to bring you back into the lower 40s for overnight lows on Friday night. Nonetheless, it's still going to be a cool Friday night, so dress accordingly. And don't forget, uh, if you want to listen to the ball games, go to iSchoolSportsNetwork.com. There will also be information there about how you can watch the games. We're in the playoffs now. Uh, so all of that works a little bit differently. NFHS uh, is the website you want to go to, or you can go to iSchool Sports Network. They have the information there as well on how you can watch the games on Friday night. So let's take a look at the uh, college sports forecast we'll start with auburn and texas a&m because they're earlier in the day that kicks off at 2 30 on cbs at kyle field in college station texas mostly sunny 65 at kickoff should be a near perfect day for college football huge sec matchup out at kyle field between auburn and texas a&m and then saturday evening lsu will be at alabama 6 p.m start on espn clear skies we should be right around 52 at kickoff headed for an overnight low of around 39 and that'll be at brian denny stadium in tuscaloosa again that should be pretty nice college football weather over at the capstone don't forget to check us out on twitter we can follow us at dstren 1040 on twitter we put all of our weather information there as well as youtube and facebook also go to drdonwx.com you can download our brand new weather app you can also support dr don's weather there's a donation button right there at the top of the page and uh yeah while you're there go over to the mixler or go over to the god's country page and download mixler so you can listen to god's country anywhere in the whole wide world when you're in east alabama be sure to listen to them at 90.9 fm if you prefer classic rock it is 89.7 east alabama's classic rock giant and you get my daily weather forecast on both of those stations all right folks i'm headed back down to southeast Georgia back on deployment for several days so I may not be able to bring you a weather forecast every single day but as I always tell you if there is a threat of severe weather even though I may not be able to broadcast live I will have the information on Facebook Twitter and on YouTube so be sure and check your news feeds often I don't anticipate anything severe in the next four to five days as it looks like uh, rather nice fall weather on the way for East Alabama and West Georgia. Have a fantastic Wednesday, and I'll see you back in here next time on Dr. Don's Weather, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise.